Tech Audio. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time on this beautiful day. We have Wednesday. Thank you so much for being here on time. We're going to start with this English class, which is, I think it's number number seven. Yeah, that's what we got today, number seven. Good evening, Maria Santos Lopez. It's nice to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this is um section number three. Um, could you do me a favor? We're gonna have indirect requests using infinitives. Oh, look at that one. This is class number seven, and this is the thing for today. Uh, we're gonna work with infinitives. Oh, do you remember infinitives? Uh huh. Yes. Hello. Um, thank you so much for being here, people. Thank you, Lino. Hello, Lino. Good evening. How are you? Bye, bye, teacher. Thank you, Jose. Tell me, uh, what else do you what are what do you remember about infinitives? What are those? What are infinitives? Uh, Jose, any idea? Use, use three, four, lay a sentence. Okay, thank you. Maybe, yes, very good. Yes, it's, it's not 100% true, but okay. Uh, what about you, Selena? Tell me, what is something that you remember about infinitives? Like when somebody is telling you, oh, we are going to use infinitives for this thing. What comes to your mind? For advice. Advice, maybe. Okay. Yes, thank you so much. Nothing. Thank you so much for letting me know that. Very good. Okay, so people, this is what we're going to have today. We're going to work with indirect requests using infinitives. Okay, let's take a look at the first thing for today, which is this picture. We have two pictures here, as you may see. Yes? Yeah, that's good. So can you please tell me what are the difference that you see here in this picture? Okay, what are the difference that we have between these two pictures? Uh-huh. Any idea? Uh, the girl's face. Oh, what happened with the girl's face? Near the rocket is a flower? Or what is this? Near the rocket is a flower. Mm. One, uh, the first picture, uh, two, and the third picture, second picture. Okay, yes. You're talking about this object here, this one? Oh, or yes, it's a ball, ball is a, a play, I don't remember. It's a Valvington ball or a tennis ball, yes, something yes. like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, very Valvington. good. So in one picture, we have one. In the other one, we have two, right? That is correct. Valvington. And what happened with the girl's face? Mm -hmm. What is happening with that? Uh-huh. Yes. One is happy and the other picture is sad. Oh, yes, right. Yes, that's right. It's like this one is when you're taking your English class and then when you leave is this one, right? I'm sorry for you. Yeah, All right. Uh, what else? What else can you say about this one? Mm -hmm. Behind the little boy, it's a, I don't know, it's... How do you say banqueta or, or oh, bench? Bench. 
Oh, there is a bench. Yes. There is a bench behind the little boy, right? Yes. Yes, that is that is correct. That's accurate. What else? What uh, are, what is the bear the bear fly free raya or line linears? Bear bear picture to line. Second picture three line. Oh. The bear the bear. Oh, very good. Yes, yes. So the bird, when, when it's flying, in the first yes. picture, right, we just have two one two lines, and in the other one, we have three. Yes. That is correct. Very good, Lino. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Do we have another uh, difference here? Between... Uh, the green cup. Oh, the position, right? Yeah. Oh, that's true, right? The position of the green cup is, is quite... It's quite different. Very, very good. Thank you. Do we have another difference here? Something else that you may say, oh, this is different. Not the really, right? The thing that is next to the racket, in one picture, it, there is only one, and the, the other, there are two. Oh, yes, Sarah, that is correct. Lino was talking about that as well. Very good, okay? Thank you so much for helping me with this one, okay? Let me check the chat really quick, somebody. Uh, okay, thank you so much for letting me know, Giovanni. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Okay, I got it, Um, thank you. So, let's begin with this uh, information, thank you so much. We're gonna have this picture. Uh, let me check, let me check somebody here. Um, eh, Olga Marleni Gomez Rios, please describe the picture. What do you see? Where are they? What are they doing? Okay, I see the the woman. Uh, maybe she's a daughter. of the old woman. Mm. And the, the driver tried to help uh, to to uh, her mom. Um Only this teacher. Okay, and, and what are what are they doing? Mm, they are uh, arrived to the car. Okay, and what is the woman doing? The young woman. Mm, opening the door. Opening the door. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where are they? Mm. In the acera. What do you say? How, How do, do you, you say, say acera in English? Anybody? How do you say acera in English? Outside on the street. <laughs> Oh, yes, on the street, that is correct. So they are on the street, that is correct. But specifically, she's ask, she's saying like, in la acera, right? So how do you say acera in English? Yes. Anybody? Sidewalk. Perfect. We have a sidewalk. Thank you, Marlene. Sidewalk, Thanks. right? They are on the sidewalk. Or, like Lino said, they are on the the street yeah so that's okay I accurate on that one okay thank you so much um very good 
Sara. Question for you, Sara. Um, how old are you, Sara? I'm 22. Okay. Um, is your grandma still alive? Yes. Okay. How how do you help your grandma? Uh, when she needs uh take drink water. Okay. Um, I help her to take the um, the bottle of water. I think is the. Yeah, that's okay. And, that's great. And also to remember to helping to remember to help her to remember no to remind her the time to take uh, the medicine okay right yes thank you so much for being so nice yes that's very nice of you thank you so much um yep so here we have a grandma and here we have a john lady very good we're gonna have these things which verbs okay and we have nouns Yes. Tell me, Selena, please, which ones are verbs and which ones are nouns? How do you know that something is a verb and how do you know that something is a noun? Or basically, do you know what is a noun? Um, the... Yes. What what is a noun? Yeah. Selena. What is a noun? Any idea? Mm -hmm. Give me one example, maybe that that helps. No. No. Okay. Don't worry. We we will help you. Okay. Uh, Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Nice. Nice to have you. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> How's the weather over there? Uh, here is, it's not raining. Oh, that's wonderful, right? That's very yeah. nice. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, do me a favor. How do you know that something uh, is a noun or, or a verb? How do um, in like the number when, two or? No, I mean, like in, in general, like when you are reading a sentence or when you are reading a paragraph, mm -hmm. how do you know that a word is, is a noun or is a verb okay for me it's a verb because i don't know maybe the subject is doing uh, uh, an action mm -hmm. and 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 what is a noun a noun is i, I know mm. I don't know how to explain. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Roberto Eduardo, thank you, Blanca. It's very nice. Hey, how are you doing, teacher? My pleasure. How are you? Good, good. I'm here again. Sounds, sounds good. I'm doing okay. Uh, do me a favor. How do you know that something is a noun or, or, an, or a verb? Uh, I remember when you're talking about the nouns, you're talking about the the place mm -hmm. or animals yes or things ideas perfect good. or something like this i remember exactly you're right yes. those are nouns right in yes. verbs eh, roberto um verbs uh you're talking about for example uh we have here uh let me see a uh, make it's yeah. a, it's a, a bear. Uh, yeah. Let me see what else. Make, or, or something like this. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Very good. A bear is an action, right? Very much. Yes. yes. Very good. Or something that we perform. Let's say. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So a noun is all those things. Well, 
are those things, right? And also, we can identify nouns because the nouns are singular, plural, and we have countable and uncountable nouns as well. So if you see here, we have a favor. A favor is a noun or a verb. Selena, this word here, a favor is a noun or a verb? Noun. It is a noun because if you see, uh, we have an article that modifies that. It's saying just one favor, yes. An apology, an invitation, a gift, a phone call, a request, a compliment. So we are going to use these verbs, yes, uh, to pair these verbs with a noun. If you see here, we have like a couple of verbs. Yeah, so we need to like pair them with the noun. Okay, so I want to give you some time so you can think about it and you can tell me, oh, for example, number one is make, okay, make a favor. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the opposite. Oh, Jesus, it's the opposite. So you need to you need to select the one that doesn't match with the with the uh, now. For example, here, make a favor doesn't match. You can say return a favor, do a favor, or ask for a favor. Yeah, but not with make. So we don't say make a favor. Yep, we don't say that. What about number two? which one doesn't fit with or doesn't go with uh, an apology? Uh -huh. Any idea, Olga? No, teacher. Oh, just, mm -hmm. Olga, pick what? one. We have four options. Pick one, Olga. O, offer, do, or asset. Which one? doesn't fit with an apology. Offer. Oh, you can say offer an apology. Do you hear that? Offer an apology. Is that correct? Yes or no? Olga? Mm, yes. Yes, right. So we can offer an apology to somebody. Yes. So offer, yes, goes with an apology, okay? So that means your answer is incorrect. Try another one, Olga. Give me another one. Um, accept. Okay, so, okay, accept an apology. Accept. Accept an apology. So when someone gives you an apology, you accept an apology. Yes or no? Yes. Oh, yes. Very good. So that means asset is correct and goes with a apology. Okay. So that means that your answer is incorrect. You have two options, O or do. Which one mm -hmm. is not correct with the uh, noun, an apology? Olga? I don't know, teacher. Don't, don't worry, okay? Just give me this one or this one. O or D or do? Do. Exactly. Very good. So, yes, do is incorrect because I can say you owe me an apology, okay? I offer an apology and I accept an apology. Yes, but... You can say, I do an apology. Yes? Right? Very good, Olga. Thank you so much. Sara, number three. I think uh, it's torn, torn down. Torn down. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Keep trying. Keep trying. Don't worry, okay? We are learning. So, keep trying. Give me another one, Sara. Over. Over. That is correct. Offer an invitation. Okay, so this one doesn't fit. I can receive an invitation, I can accept an invitation, and I can turn down. Turn down, remember, is like, um, no, no thank you, right? <laughs> when when somebody invites you for a baby shower, 
Ah, no, thank you. It's not my thing. Okay, so what? But offer? No, no, that one not. Very good. Lino, Jose Lino, please, number four. What is the verb that does not belongs or that does not fit with the noun a gift? Maybe do. That is correct. Do. Do a gift. Yeah, we don't say that. We don't say that. We say, I receive a gift, I yes. give a gift, and I accept a gift. Very good. Thank you. Wendy, Cecilia. Oh, let me check the chat really quick. Give me a minute. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, Karen, thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. Um, Very good, Marlene. That is correct. Uh, Marlene, thank you so much. Uh, Okay, Marlene, thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, thank you. So, Wendy, number five, Wendy, please. Wendy? No? Okay. Let's work with... Oh, okay, let me see. Okay, Wendy, thank you so much for letting me know. Um, Jenny, hello, Jenny. Oh, that's okay, no problem, Wendy. Hello, Jenny, good evening. Jenny, Jenny, hello, hello, Jenny, okay. Oh, can you participate, Jenny? Yes, with your mic on? Yes or no, let me know. If you have the chance to do it. If not, I will pick another one. Oh, okay, thank you so much for letting me know. Um. Janet Carolina Rivera. Hello, good evening. Janet Carolina Rivera. Janet Carolina Rivera. No, okay. Let me check another one. Uh, okay. Okay, let's work with um you, Selena. Number five. I'm sorry. Okay. Return. Oh, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Try another one. Receive. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Try another one. Make. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Okay. The one that we don't say is this Do. one. Do a phone call. Yeah. Okay. So we make phone calls, uh, we return phone calls, and also we receive phone calls as well. Very good. Okay. Karen, Yvette, Villanueva, thank you. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. Nice Good to evening. have you. Number six, please. Maybe so decline, teacher. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. No. Try another one. Offer? That is correct. Okay. Offer is the word that doesn't belong here. So... We accept requests, we make a request, and we decline a request, but we do not offer a request. Very good. Thank you so much. And Roberto, the last one is for you, number seven. Uh, let me see. Give, give a compliment. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Try another one. Uh, let me see. Return. A compliment. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Try another one. <laughs> Let me see. Do a compliment. Oh, yes, that is the one. Okay, we don't say do a compliment. Do a compliment. Mm -hmm. We don't say that. We receive a compliment, we return, and also we give. But, okay, we don't use the verb do with this uh, oh. nouns. Okay, thank you so much for your participation. And this is about like using the correct uh, verbs according to the nouns, okay? There are some nouns that we need to be careful how do we use them and how we combine them with with these uh, verbs, okay? Let's take a look of the grammar part. I need you to listen this video and watch and take notes as well. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to make indirect requests. 
In this class, we will focus on turning imperatives into indirect requests. We use indirect requests when you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Well, let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there, uh, but uh, maybe the assistant or a receptionist answers the phone. So you leave a message with that person. This is what we call an indirect request. So let me present the structure. If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how the structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So for example, if we have statements, which is what we saw in our previous class, uh, then this statements will change in this form, right? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party or could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Um, so we did a lot of practice with this in our previous lesson. Today we're going to focus or we're going to um, pay close attention to imperatives. Uh, so we're going to have a series of imperatives and we will be changing those to uh, indirect requests using uh, infinitives. If you can see on the screen, we're going to uh, take this imperative and um, so the imperative is Jeff, don't be late. Now this, we're going to turn it into an indirect request by using infinitives. And so the way that we will do this is that we will use can you tell plus the object and then we'll use an infinitive. This infinitive could be in a negative form or it could also be in a positive form. Uh, so let me just quickly point out the structure that we're going to be using. Um, all right. Uh, so I mentioned uh, we're going to use could. Um, this can also be can, by the way. And uh, then we're going to use um, a subject there. It could be you, but uh, it could be any other subject as well, right? And then uh, typically we're, we will use the verb tell. And then I mentioned this is going to be followed by the object. The object is who are we giving that message to? So for example, in this case, it happens to be Jeff. Um, and after that, we will use um, an infinitive, as I mentioned. Uh, this could be in the form of a negative infinitive. Uh, so in this case, uh, let's take that example there. Um, can you, and I will tell the object it's Jeff. All right. And in this case, uh, this happens to be a negative one. So we will say not to be late. And then we'll put a question mark. And that's how we would change um, an imperative into an indirect request. So now let's say that the imperative is different. OK, now we're going to I'm going to give an example of a positive one. So what would be that? Well, maybe we want to give a message to Jeff. Jeff was not there, so but we talked to the uh, to his assistant. So uh, bring some uh, drinks for the party. All right, that's the message that we want to give to Jeff. This is in the form of an imperative. So how do we go about changing this into um, an indirect request? Well, again, we mentioned we will use could, and then we'll use you. Uh, in this case, we will use the verb tell. The object I mentioned is Jeff. All right, so we will say, could you tell Jeff? And if you notice, this is not in a negative form, so therefore we will not use not, okay? And we will simply use the infinitive form. Could you tell, could you tell Jeff to bring some drinks for the party? There we go. Um, and this is what I refer to, or this is what we refer to whenever we say that that's an infinitive, right? So um, it, to bring um, or not to. Uh, and then the verb, right? So if we have a negative form, we will use not to and then the verb. If we have a positive form, we will say to and then plus the verb. That's what we mean by that. So could you tell Jeff to bring some drinks for the party? And that's how we turn that imperative into an indirect request. So let's practice making a series of imperatives and we're gonna do the exercise of changing those into indirect requests. So all the messages are directed towards Jeff. So hi everyone. By the end of this class you'll learn how to make indirect requests. 
In this class, we will focus on turning imperatives into indirect requests. Um, and this is what I refer to, or this is what we refer to whenever we say that that's an infinitive, right? So um, it, to bring um, or not to, uh, and then the verb, right? So if we have a negative form, we will use not to, and then the verb. If we have a positive form, we will say to, and then plus the verb. That's what we mean by that. So could you tell Jeff to bring some drinks for the party? And that's how we turn that imperative into an indirect request. So let's practice making a series of imperatives and we're going to do the exercise of changing those into indirect requests. So all the messages are directed towards Jeff. So Jeff, be on time. Okay, uh, maybe uh, Jeff, tell your friends that they are invited to the party. Okay, Jeff, bring your iPod. So there we go. We got a series of statements there on the bottom. What we want to do with that is we want to change those into an indirect request. So as I'm doing them, uh, you should also be uh, doing them yourself as well to make sure that you are understanding this topic. So let's do the first one together. So Jeff, be on time. Um, again, we will say, could you tell Jeff? And that is not negative. So therefore, we will say we will change be on time to to be on time okay Jeff tell your friends that they are invited to the party all right we will do something similar we will say could you tell Jeff to tell his friends that they are invited to the party. There we go. Uh, and again, what we did was we mm -hmm. simply had to change this into a form of infinitive. Uh, and we did that by doing this. There we go. And the last one should be quite easy. Jeff, bring your iPod. Okay. Could you tell Jeff to bring his iPod. The only thing that was different was that we had to change the possessive pronouns. Okay, uh, so for example, um, could you tell Jeff to tell his friends that they are invited to the party? So um, instead of saying Jeff, tell your friends that they're invited to the party, we said. Could you tell Jeff to tell his friends that they are invited to the party? So we had to change that. And that was about the only thing that we had to change. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, from yesterday, we were working with this thing um, that is called uh, making requests. Right Here we have the imperatives. Yesterday, we practiced a little bit on that one, if you remember. And we're going to keep working on those today so we can have more details on how do we work, uh, like when it comes to making requests. On today's class, as you notice, we have imperatives, right? And imperatives are quite easy because those are the ones that we use a lot in English when it comes to communicating something, okay? Before we get into the practice, I would like to take the attendance. So when you hear your beautiful name, say present or I'm here. Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. Present. Thank you so much. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. No? Okay. I will check the chat when I finish taking the attendance so I can uh, add the ones that... Um, doesn't have a mic or doesn't have the chance to participate by using um, the microphone. Giovanni Stanley Flores uh, Salazar, you brought in the chat. Thank you so much. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. 
Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Hello, hello, Janet. No, she isn't here. Okay, thank you. Let's move on with um Jose Lino Alvarenga. Thank you so much. Um Karen eh, Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Also, you are still um well with that situation. It's nice to have you one more time. Eh, Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you so much and good evening. Nice to have you. Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. Teacher, Present teacher. Karen Bernal. Oh, Karen Bernal de Avelar. Yes, thank you so much for being here. Okay, nice to have you. Thank you. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. No, she isn't. Okay, what about Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona? Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzman. Present. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you again. Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Nice to have you. Olga Marleni Gomez Rios. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome. Nice to have you. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Oh, oh yes, Oscar. Thank you so much for letting me know. I got you here. Um, Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you so much, gentlemen. It's nice to have you. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Present. Thank you so much. Wendy. No, Wendy. I think you're right in the chat, right, Wendy? Let me check. Present teacher. Oh, thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Welcome. And Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. I think Jenny wrote in the chat, right? Present teacher. Yes, it's nice to have you. And good evening. Just let me check the chat really quick. If we have, let me see. Oh, Maria Santos. Thank you so much. Maria Santos, she wrote in the chat. And who's the one? Edgar and Janet Carolina. Let me see. I uh, know. No, I don't have Janet. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, what is that thing? Okay, Jesus. Okay. Teacher, no sé si me mencionó, pero oh, I'm here, teacher. Oh, Janet, right? Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. And thank you for letting me know. Because, um, yep, we're going to have this really quick error correction. Yes. So we're going to have some sentences here. I need to identify which sentences are incorrect, okay? And which sentences are correct, okay? Mm -hmm. Could you borrow me some money? Would you mind if I open the window? Can I ask, can you ask Emma, is she free on Saturday? Mm -hmm. which sentences are correct that you can say oh this one's is correct why let's work with the correct ones because i think that's easier uh, can you tell them not to laugh can you ask susan when the movie starts oh that makes sense could you ask your sister what time should i pick her up pick her up would you mind lending me your phone? Is it okay if I go to your party? Could you ask Jack, does he have my book? Would you mind letting me use your car? I wonder if you'd mind to buy me a coffee. Could you ask Lorraine whether or not she has my cell phone number? So which sentences are correct? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Remember, it doesn't matter if you do mistakes, right? Just. Oh, Maria Santos. Yes. Thank you so much for letting me know. No problem. Uh-huh. 
Number uh -huh. one is correct. Excuse me? Number one is correct. Number one. Could you borrow me some money? Yes. It's incorrect. You... Yes, it's incorrect. Number one is incorrect. Yes. This is inc I'm gonna write letter I for incorrect. This is incorrect. Very good. What about number two? Correct or incorrect? Would you mind if I open the window? All right. Yeah, that is correct. Wonderful. Number three, can you ask Emma, is she free on Saturday? Incorrect. Incorrect, that is right. Thank you. What about number four? Can you tell them not to laugh? Olga, what do you think? Correct or incorrect? For me, is correct. That is right. Number four is correct. Wonderful. Number five. Can you ask Susan when the movie starts? Jose Lino, correct, correct or incorrect? Jose? Yes, correct. That is right. Very good. Correct. Thank you. Number six. Could you ask your sister what time should I pick her up? Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Exactly. Thank you so much. Incorrect. What about number seven? Would you mind lending me your cell phone? Incorrect. No, I'm sorry, that is correct. Okay, this one is correct, number seven. What about number eight? Is it okay if I go to your party? That is correct or incorrect? Is it okay if I go to your party? Incorrect. Okay. Uh, Jose, right? Correct. This is correct. Thank you so much. This is correct. Thank you. Could you ask Jack, does he have my book? Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Exactly. Incorrect. Thank you so much. Number 10. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. That is right. We have incorrect. Thank you. Number 11. I wonder if you'd mind to buy me a coffee. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. Very good. And the last one, number 12. Could you ask Lorraine whether or not she has my cell phone number? My cell phone phone my cell phone number, yeah. This is incorrect. No, I'm sorry, this is correct. Okay, this is correct. Let me show you more examples so you can have a better idea about this one. Just give me a minute. Okay. Um Okay.
Okay. Okay. Let's work with this one. Okay. Oh, here we have this exercise. It says, check the phrase that describe. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. There is something popping up. So you're not able to see it, yeah? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, it says, check the phrase that describes what each person is doing. If you see here, we have a picture, right, Selena? Yay, that's wonderful. Selena, please tell me, what do you see here in this picture? What are they doing? Who are they? Where are they? What is happening? They are talking about... She broke the harbor, let's see. Yes, maybe. Very good. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. But she, the woman is not angry. Wow. Maybe advanced her okay. about the situation, but I take it easy, not, don't worry about oh. it. Yeah. What happened, like in your case, when, when you did that, some, that in the past, what happened to you, Selena? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, I don't know because it's important for my family. Maybe I am angry. <laughs> okay. But uh, is is uh, my niece? Maybe I say don't worry. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, back in the days, right? When you, if you did this, uh, when you were little, the thing that you got is a bunch of chancletazos, right? That's for sure. Yes. That's what no. I got. Yeah, one day I did this thing, okay? And what I got, um, I got a bunch of chancletazos, yeah? And, and look at the picture now. Selena said, oh, this is different, right? The, the, uh, this woman, she's not mad. She's like trying to um, uh, make them, uh, make, making like, um, I don't know, helping the girl to understand like that is not not too bad right that there is a solution about it thank you so much that's very nice right everything has changed look at that yeah oh that's that's good yeah thank you number one tell me jose lino what do you think what is in here uh, accepting an apology. oh accepting an apology okay can you please uh, read read the sentence, please? Don't worry. I know you didn't need to break it. Very good. Right. So that means accepting an apology. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Karen Yvette, number two. Read the sentence and then Ooh. give me what is the option. Okay. I really like your new haircut. And the option is for me giving a compliment. Exactly, right? When somebody tells you that, yes, uh, pretty much girls, they love that. Yeah, they love that. When when somebody let them know, oh, I like your, your hair. It's very nice and it's beautiful. Yeah, girls, they really love. Giving a compliment. Very good. Thank you. Olga, number three, Olga, please. Thank you. Can I borrow your laptop? Uh, asking for a favor. Asking for a favor, right? Can I borrow your laptop? Can I borrow your laptop? Yes. So we can say sometimes this one or somebody is like asking like for a favor to you. Yeah. So this, this question goes to you, right? Can I borrow your laptop? Maybe if you have siblings like at home, yeah, this thing that may be common for you, right? Uh, this question comes, uh, comes really, like, frequently. Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Good evening. Hello. Thank you. The next one, number four, please. Okay, I can't lend you my bike because I need it myself. Declining a request. Exactly, right? Yes, do, do you decline these kind of things, uh, Blanca? Like, uh, yes, because when I use an object and I can to, oh, yes, that, that's all right. Do, do you think it's easy 
to do that, to decline a request? It's not easy, but it depends on the person. Oh, how come? Uh, because some person may be going to react, maybe his re reaction, uh -huh. or I don't know, maybe angry. Oh, he's yes. angry. Uh, yes, and the other person could be, mm, okay, no problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, when it comes to objects, uh, sometimes uh, sometimes we decline. Yeah, very good. And let me see, Neftali, the number five is for you. Could you help me cook dinner? He's uh, making a request. Exactly. Okay, Neftali, do you cook? Mm, not very well, but I can I can make a frijoles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. You try. <laughs> I try. Oh. Only I try. Oh, that's good. Yeah, at least yeah, we try. That's something uh very nice. Yes. Very good, right? So if you see here we have these as and areas where we can um either accept, uh give or uh decline or we can make uh a different uh, request. Yes, uh, this is the way. This is the way we use it. Okay, give me a minute because I got another exercise for you. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, let me see. Oh, this one. I love this one. This one goes related to the first exercise that we did. Remember about nouns and verbs. Okay. Here we have shoes to correct words. In parentheses, as you may know, we have accepted, denied, offered. So we need to figure it out which one goes here according to the context, right? Roberto Eduardo Escamilla, the number one is for you. Read the sentence and then give me the option that you think goes in that blank space. Okay. Uh, my phone didn't work for a week the phone company denied apologize and look 20 20 of my bills uh i think uh is accepting Read one more time the full sentence and add the verb that you selected, please. Okay. My phone didn't work for a week. The phone company accepting and apologized and took 20 off my bill. And Okay. Yeah. Uh, how how do you feel about that? Selecting that for accepted the phone the phone company accepted an apology. Like if you see at the beginning, we have my phone didn't work. How do you feel about it? If your phone doesn't oh, work, I'm gonna feel angry. Ex exactly, exactly. So who owe you an apology? Like to you. It's like uh, you to the company or the company to you? Uh, the company to... Oh. oh, oh yes, very good. There you go. So what is the correct word? Accepted, to... deny, or offer? Offered. Oh, yeah. Okay, that fits better. Okay. Okay. Now do me a favor, please. Yes, teacher. Oh, please read again. And now add the verb offered. Okay. My phone didn't didn't work for a week. The phone company offered and apologized and took 20 off my bill. Apology. 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 Very good. So you hear that? That uh, that's sounds bad. exactly right. So it's like because of this issue you were having with your, your cell phone, right? The company right. offer you 
an apology. Yes. yes. Oh, that's yeah. very good. Thank you so much. Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Good evening. Nice to have you. Are you happy today, Sarah? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's good. Thank you so much. Do me a favor. Number two, please. A friend of mine really loves to re receive compliments, but he never gives anyone else one. I don't understand why why he's like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that one. <laughs> I don't understand why he's like that. <laughs> oh Jesus. That is correct. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, received. This is, well, just like I will tell you this. This is one of the difficult verbs with the spelling for me. Yes. Whenever I write the verb receive, I need to double check the spelling because for me it's hard this one. Receive. I don't know why, but whenever I write this one, it hard. It's really hard. Yes. Very good, Sarah. Really loves to receive compliments. Okay. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay, thank you. Um Olga Gomez Rios, number three, please. He offer rarely offers. Diane is always talking of the phone on the phone. She makes a lot of calls, but she rarely offers mine. Maybe she never listened to her voice mail. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Selena, what do you think about your classmates option? Her option is offers. For me, I return. Okay, returns. Okay, so uh, because, please, Olga, uh, Olga, she read. May sell it. She, she said. Yes, carry on, Selena. I'm sorry. No. Selena, continue, <laughs> please. I'm sorry. Carry on. No, teacher. Only that. Oh, only <laughs> that. Okay. Yes, you're right. You're right. Returns. Yes, returns. Yes. Um, so Olga, we have returns like return Pikachu. Yes, do you remember that? Yes, so yes. returns. Now please, Olga, read one more time the full sentence, please. Well, the two sentences. Okay. Diane is always talking on the phone. She makes a lot of calls, but she rarely returns mine. Maybe she never listened to her voice menu. Perfect. Thank you so much. So you see, now it fits, fits better. Okay, thank you. And Jose Lino, the last one is for you, number four. I need to. Give a favor. Okay, can you read, please read the full sentence? Thank you. I need to. No down, could you please give, give me a ride to a school tomorrow? My bike has a flat tire. Okay, thank you. Uh, what do you think about the last two questions? Well, the last, the, the second question. Could you please give me a ride to school tomorrow? What is that? Jose, what is that? Could you please give me a ride to school tomorrow? How does it sound for you, that question? Like... Your answer is, what is your answer here? Ask for, give, or turn down? I think, I don't know. Oh, just pick one, don't worry. Just pick one, and then we will check. 
turn down. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Okay. If, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. That is for, okay. Yes, so the correct I one is that one. For. Ask for. Yes, so you, I need to ask for a favor. And what is the favor? This one here. Could you please give me a ride to school tomorrow? Yes. Are you ready for tomorrow class, Sara? Sara, are you ready for tomorrow's class? Yes. Oh, can. that's wonderful. So, everybody, it was yes. nice to see you. Go rest, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. Take care. Thank you so much Thank for you. everything. Good night.